Welcome back. It's hard to believe the massacre at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut took place about 10 years ago. It'll be 10 years ago this upcoming December. JT Lewis, the brother of one of the victims there at Sandy Hook. He's also a school safety advocate and former Connecticut State Senate candidate, and he joins me now. JT, before we get into the security part of this, the policy part of this, what is your message to the families there in Uvalde who are grieving right now, experiencing something that you experienced again 10 years ago? Well, I just want to let them know that I did experience what they're going through. I, I sat in the Sandy Hook firehouse for hours on December 14th, 2012, waiting for my brother to come out of that school, and he never did. And I know that's something that they all just went through, and it's the hardest day of your life. And I think it's important, and I hope one or two of them hears this message, that although this is the darkest moment of your life, you will be happy again you will find a sense of hope. And here in Sandy Hook, just about every family that lost someone that day, lost a loved one, has started a nonprofit or a charity to make other people's lives better. And so out of darkness can come a lot of light. And I know that's not something that's at the forefront of their minds right now, but I know that the Sandy Hook families will be here to support the Texas families when the time comes. Beautifully said, JT. As for the policy of this all, we had a confirmation hearing yesterday. Joe Biden's nominee to head the ATF admits that he cannot define assault weapons, even though he supported a ban on said assault weapons in 2018. Watch. When I was a candidate for office, I did uh, talk about restrictions on assault weapons. I did not define the term, and I haven't gone through the process of defining that term. So you're running for public office and you called for a ban on assault weapons, but you don't have a definition for assault weapons? JT, obviously, you've been intimately involved with this debate. Your thoughts on the debate, one, and two, having this debate so soon after a tragedy like this? Yeah, well, obviously, tension, tensions are high, and uh, you are going to run into a debate immediately following a tragedy like this. It happened after Sandy Hook 2. Political campaigns put out fundraising emails the day after. It's unfortunate. People are going to do. It's human nature. It's unfortunate. The other issue is you can't really have a debate if you can't define the issues. And it seems like the other side just can't define the issues right now. I will say here in America, we have more guns than people. Guns aren't going anywhere. It's something that we all came to terms with here. Well, not everyone, but I came to terms with pretty shortly after the shooting. There's over 350 million guns in the country. They're not going anywhere. So what we have to do is look past that, and we need to find solutions that go beyond that. And for me, Daryl Scott actually said it the other day pretty perfectly. So, uh, harden the target, soften the heart. Resources for schools to harden against uh, uh, school shootings, which here in Sandy Hook, of course, we have the safest schools in the country the day after the shooting. No one was there to protect my brother that day. I wish that could have been different. And additionally, resources to soften the heart, help students get to these students, uh, these troubled young uh, teenagers before they commit these shootings. This ATF nominee also previously said that he opposes arming teachers in schools. Shouldn't we have some level of armed presence at every single school in America? Absolutely, absolutely. And I'll tell you what, Sandy Hook is a, a pretty liberal town, and we have armed guards and little uh, annex police stations in every school. Okay, so we know how to do it here, and, and it's not political here. It's just a, a matter of fact. The kids need to be kept safe in schools, and until we can figure out this mental health crisis going on in our country, I don't want, when I have kids, I don't want them going to a school that is unprotected, like Sandy Hook was the day of the shooting. Please let Newtown be the model for the rest of the country. Please. Babies' lives are at stake. JT Lewis, we always appreciate you coming on on these very, very difficult mornings. Thank you for your time. And check back in with us, hopefully, in a couple years. Everybody is following the Newtown model. Thank you, sir.